This week, we try to recreate sleight of hand we saw in a movie. Is it a lie? Maybe. I'm a lie. I don't exist. Gentlemen, toasts upon me. All right, so there was a scene in a movie I remember from when I was a kid. They're at a hotel bar, a bunch of dudes about to fight, but before they fight, they can't fight. So instead, the challenge is to snatch a coin out of the other person's hand. Now that part, since I've become a magician, I understand. Because what happens is, here, hold your hand out, Jason. What'll happen is I'm gonna snap my hand down and it's going to knock this up in the air yep. that I can grab. As we've learned, reaction time just makes it unfair. Sincerely, try to beat me here, all right? Okay. Ready? Like, you can't. There, yeah. There's no way you can react in time, right? But in the movie, there's this amazing moment when the guy thinks he's won, and he says, check out your hand, and he opens it, and he has a different coin. So here's what we're going to do. I have a Massachusetts and a Nebraska quarter here. I'm going to give you Massachusetts. I want you to keep it in your hand. What Grant doesn't know is you're gonna keep Nebraska in a, what magicians call a classic palm. Make your hand super flat, put it right in the middle, and then when you relax your hand, you'll notice that it kind of pinches it right in there. So you're gonna come in like this, kind of like a mantis pose, and then theoretically what's gonna happen is you are going to let go of this coin, you're gonna make your hand totally flat, you're gonna come down, and you're gonna execute the snatch move. All right, I want this to be as obvious as we can make it. So I'm gonna color one of these quarters totally black with the Sharpie. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, I will snatch the quarter from your hand, sir. Did I snatch the pebble from the master? It's still not Did happen. It? I don't know, it feels like it's... Oh! Oh! Nice. nice! That was amazing! It felt like it was in the same spot, too. That's what's impressive, dude. Wow. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, that about does it. Dude, out. good job. Good week, good work. Also, we summoned Minoku. Huh? Did you say something? No. Uh, good job. You did good. Oh, okay. Also, we summoned the Hell Demon Minoku. We'll have to face his wrath now. Yeah, okay, you've got to stop doing that. What's this about Minoku? All right, remember when we wrapped up the episode and I said, Hail Minoku, and we thought it was a funny reference to the Mr. Show bit? Minoku! Minoku! Turns out there's an actual hell god Minoku. He thought I was talking about him. So that part when it said, to be continued? All is possible through Minoku. This is us continuing it. Are we, though? I mean, you tell me. Dude left me a voicemail. Hey Brian, this is Minoku. Love the show. Gotta be honest, man. Didn't expect getting called out like that. I love it though. So forward thinking of you to call me in for a full month of terror. I love October's. Catch on the flip side. Minoku, ouch. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like Minoku just agreed to do all of our ads for October. Did he? All right, later. Uh, hey, buy a domain at domain.com. They're fast, easy, reliable. Use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, get 15% off. Right. Here, let me try Let me try it on you real quick. All right. Oh, yep. Got it. <laughs> yeah! Got it! Yeah, you couldn't even tell, could no, you? No, not at all. You don't want the coins to clang on each other, so you don't want to go straight down on it. So instead, there's sort of a, I'm moving back a little bit. I'm gonna slam down here with the idea of the two just transposing instantly like that. That was smooth. So I'm gonna give you the cursed okay. black quarter. You take Massachusetts. So remember, what you wanna do, have it, there you go, classic palm position. Yep. You're like perpendicular. You wanna be like head on, there you go. Ah. And you wanna have your hand totally flat. That's the fair way to do it. Okay, <laughs> it should work completely on its own. Oh, I gave him both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Ah! Don't even think about the, the black coin being in your hand. Right. Instead, you are just doing the snatch move. That's all you worry about. Right? All right. Just just remember, like, like flat and grab. Oh, so you are actually supposed to kind of do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you, pops you, it up? Yeah, you, you want to you pop them down so that it jumps into your hand. Okay. 
That was close! <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but like you're getting higher up oh, here. Yeah, yeah okay. so, so you don't need to. Did it work? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you do it? Let's see what you got. Boom! Oh. You did it! So nice. good! Oh. So good! My beard That's on good. the ground! I've wanted to do that for 30 years! <laughs> 30 years! Man, this week is a weird one because it really takes the two of you kind of cooperating to make this work, but the moment that those coins transpose, it is freaking magical. You will be blown away. You'll feel like a ninja wizard. They'll feel like someone who was fooled by a ninja wizard. Speaking of which, if you're a ninja wizard, why don't you hit me up at twitter.com slash There is no C in Schwood. And of course, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, logic puzzle, or magic trick, hit me up directly at brian at schwood.com. Now don't forget to join us next week because we're going to learn how to alter the chip in your credit card to get you free candy. But here's the hitch. It only works on Halloween. You have to be dressed up as a cat in pajamas. Grant, I don't know if you know this, but we're old. We're all old. We're super old. We're going to die alone. It's true. Join us next week when we be No, I'm not. I'm sorry. It's so bleak. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest episode of Scam School ever. <laughs> <laughs>